Hey guys, welcome to Bastion Time. I'm your host, Bastion. This is Nintendo News. Let's get to that news. First of all, when Hyrule Warriors was first announced, we thought it looked pretty gosh darn good, didn't we? But now with the newer trailer that's recently come out, comparing the two, or I guess these are the screenshots that are out, comparing the two, um, it looks a whole lot better already. It's interesting how Nintendo is doing this. Like, they, they're not afraid to show us something that's still a work in progress, uh, that still looks pretty good, but then improve on it dramatically as it gets closer to release. So, if you want to take a look at some of these uh, comparisons, there's a link for you down below. If you have the NES Remix 2 game, you'll know that you have to play the games kind of in order. You play one game and unlock challenges for the next game, and then play that game and uh, eventually you'll unlock the next game and so on. If that frustrates you too much and you just want to cut straight to the game that you want to play, apparently there is some kind of hidden cheat code in the game. Nintendo tweeted about it, so uh, if you want, it, they give a clue basically as to how to go about unlocking that. Uh, I'm not going to reveal it here. If you want uh, to go ahead and find out what that clue is, there's a link for you down below. Nintendo has been in some hot water amongst the YouTubers out there as far as their content policy. Uh, just to bring you up to speed in case for whatever reason you're not familiar, most companies, uh, most video game companies, will allow you to go ahead and just upload footage of their game. Um, there's a couple others that take some issue with it. Square Enix doesn't let you upload any Dragon Quest X stuff but they're fine with basically anything else. Um, Nintendo, however, will not let you upload anything. Uh, they will leverage a content ID claim against it. Um, and their philosophy, they have recently revealed, is what everybody kind of expected, which is that they feel the game belongs to them. If they want to upload footage, that's fine. If you want to upload footage, that's fine, but then if you're trying to make any kind of money off of it at all, they want that money. <laughs> so they feel that it belongs to them. Um, they are now changing their tune a little bit, it sounds like. they. Uh, for those of you not familiar with how this sort of whole YouTuber thing works, there are people who just upload videos onto their channel and they do it completely independently. Most big-time YouTubers, or even smaller-time YouTubers, have an affiliate. They, uh, they let some other company take a small percentage of their ad revenue, and then that provides them with all kinds of tools to better uh, upload and, um, and uh, tag their videos and whatnot. So Nintendo is going to become one of those affiliates. They have an affiliate program that they're setting up. Um, and it sounds like the whole point of this is just so that way they can better regulate uh, video game content and then uh, from their games, and then they'll then be happy to give the YouTube creator a small cut uh, of that profit. It's just kind of interesting though because it's like that might work for, you know, Joe Schmo age 12 who's just now starting a YouTube channel, but it still excludes all of the other YouTubers who are perfectly happy doing it on their own or already are well entrenched in their own affiliate program. I mean, people like uh, like Game Grumps, for instance. I doubt that they will play very many NES games or Nintendo games because they aren't going to be making any ad revenue off of those, and they're not likely to drop their current affiliate, which I think is like Polaris or something, to then go to Nintendo just to then be able to... And it sounds like Nintendo is looking to take more of a cut than most of those other affiliates are, which usually only take like a tenth or something like that. But um, anyways, it's a whole interesting hoopla. It's interesting to see that Nintendo probably had this plan the whole time. That's why they started leveraging these content ID claims, because they were trying to basically say, see, you cannot upload Nintendo games, but later you can if you become our affiliate. And let us take some of our money. So, 
I guess at least that way people will be able to play <laughs> Nintendo games on their YouTube channels, especially if they're playing exclusively Nintendo games, then that's gonna work for them, so. Anyways, that's it for this episode of Nintendo News. See you guys tomorrow for more news. Bye, guys.